What was the first first big role? The first thing you did? Well, you know what? Thinking back, talking about my early childhood as a kid in New York, I auditioned. This is how old I am. On Golden Pond. You auditioned for On Golden Pond? So what was this movie? Like 1970? Yeah. 80, 78. So, right. So that, I was about eight years old. I'm in this game 45 years, man. Wow. So, yeah. And I remember not getting the part, and I had a great exchange with Mark Rydell, who was so cool, even to me as a little kid. Because I remember him breaking the news to me, and basically saying, you know, it's not going to work out. And they hired Doug McKean, who was the kid in the film. So that's how far I go back, you know. And then I did commercials, and it was just kind of like a hobby that spun, you know, into some work. So the first big one to your question was like Vacation, Chevy Chase, and, and what Lampo. was what was that audition like? Do you remember auditioning for that? I remember walking in and meeting Matty Simmons. He was a great guy. Uh, we lost him a couple of years ago. He created Lampoon Magazine, and I remember meeting Harold Ramis and Matty on that day. You went, went in for the first audition yeah, for all for those vacation. guys. Yeah. Yeah. And what was your audition? Do you remember what scene I, I don't you were reading? No, I don't remember what scene, but it was something probably with Chevy, one of the scenes. Maybe the Chevy scene was did. there? No, no, no. But it was probably the scene in the desert with Chevy. You know, it was probably one of those scenes. I don't I don't recall. Were you drinking mm -hmm. the beer? Yeah, it was probably one of but those. But you didn't have yeah. you didn't meet Chevy before you got the part. No, no, just Maddie and Harold Remus. So that was a big that that was really cool. What's interesting too is John Hughes actually wrote that screenplay. I didn't meet right. him then, right? So his trajectory was interesting. He started selling short stories to Lampoon Magazine. Right. He had been a copywriter in Chicago. He wrote, and that's what she's having a baby is that context. So Kevin Bacon's playing him. Elizabeth McGovern was playing his right. wife. And uh, so he sold this short story. Next thing you know, they made it into the film. I did that film, didn't know John. And then right after that, I did 16 Candles and audition for him and then, right. uh, as a kid and then did three in a row with him. Yeah. But Vacation, man. That that is, I always think of like people when they work with Chevy Chase because you always hear things. You hear things. I've had uh, Joel McHale. He was on here and he talked Joel's about it. He, he, yeah. he loves Chevy, but like you know, there was some problems on set. Was there? Like, yeah, yeah on, on the community yeah. and mm. things happen, and you know, he got fired and all these all these mm. things. Do you remember him being very giving and and, and nurturing and kind of like guiding you because you had to be nervous as shit, or were you not? Oh, I was nervous. Yeah, as a kid, absolutely. By the time I did Community, no, I had a different take on it. But I had a great time on that show. I mean, there were so many great actors on that show. All, all the whole cast was cool. And, um, I, you know, I worked with him briefly on that. Yeah, I but mean, vacation, Chevy's a trip, though. I'm talking about vacation. No, on vacation. I mean, I was just, I was rusty. I was 14 years old, so I, I looked up to everybody, man. You know, John, John Candy was great. John Candy really was a big personality and a lot of fun. What was it about him? Well, Chevy was kind of like the way he is, kind of snarky and funny, you know what I mean? But Candy was Uncle Buck, man. He was really, and the way it happened was we shot one ending, it didn't work. And it was that thing where the studio tested it, they got the cards back and they realized from the original ending that they never made it to Wally World. So we regrouped six months later, puberty kicked in. I'm like four inches taller. I get to the set at Magic Mountain. I got a huge zit on my chin. Chevy's like, nice. Okay, you're jerking off. Good to see you've grown. Uh, it was he just- probably a, did But say that's that. how Chevy was. Yeah, yeah. No, he said, uh, yeah, something like that. If you're blind, you're doing it right, meaning I was whacking off. I don't know what the hell he was saying. Um, and then they hired John Candy, and that's the ending we shot that they used. So the test screening came back and the audience was like, shit, we want to see them make it to Wally World. They never did. So that's how it happened. Then we reshot the ending and we did it. Did you think the movie was going to be? I mean, you hear this you, all the time. You have no idea. You never know. I think anybody who says that they knew when they were making something, I, I think that that's a, I think that's BS. You never really know. I mean, I had a great time and I was working with all these legends, you know. But as a kid, I wasn't processing the future success of it.